Welcome back everybody to another awful idea by Risky and that is build a giant dark room with no torches. So in the previous episode of uh, One Chunk Challenge, we dug out some stuff looking for iron. So we definitely found uh, some of the nothing. We de <gasps> No! Bad. We definitely found uh, no iron. Uh, a lot of cobblestone. Uh, that's a plus. We found a lot of cobblestone. Uh, but we found no iron in the previous episode, which is not a big deal. Uh, we'll eventually find some because uh, there's definitely going to be a lot on. Uh, or hopefully a lot on the map. Uh, or at least enough to, to do something with. Oh, well, there's some iron right there. Uh, but yeah, we found some iron, or well, just found some iron, but we, uh, we definitely didn't do, uh, the smart thing and, uh, and not build a, a giant dark room where that's the only place where things can spawn. So we're going to fix that now. We have torches and we're just going to continue mining up some of this stuff. So I'm probably just going to cut this out, uh, of the video and, uh, just stitch together some stuff today. For this next episode because obviously this is episode like 10 or 9 or something and uh, you guys have seen me digging a lot and it's mostly because well we we need to dig out a lot of this stuff to find what we're looking what we need to continue uh, onto the, a lot of the cool stuff like getting armor and stuff uh, the other really cool thing you can do is you can get uh, like in the last episode I touched on like how golden apples and and getting villagers and stuff is is possible uh because of the zombie pigmen well that's not the only reason why it's possible it's possible because of the golden armor that things drop uh along with you can fish out of water i believe it's golden armor. uh or at least enchanted armor of some sort so we won't be a naked pangu forever, but I'm going to cut this out and w when we get back we'll have finished up some of the stuff and I will probably just dig out a bunch until we get enough to do something and uh, we'll be back shortly. For you guys it'll be short and then for me it'll be forever. Ever. Checking in after uh, quite some time actually. Uh, <laughs> so today's episode has gone pretty, pretty quick. Uh, during the, the brief break for you guys, but quite some time for me, actually. Uh, we did quite a bit of mining, and we also almost broke the diamond pick. Not bueno, but there is a way to fix it, and it involves getting a villager, an, another villager. So that's all we're, we'll, what we'll have to do is, uh, is start trying to find a way to get villagers on this chunk. But, uh, as you can see, there's... There's some carnage in some areas <laughs> in which uh, wasn't there before, but this is where we started and this is where we ended. We we got like 16 or so uh, iron from that, so we we definitely got quite a bit done. Uh, obviously, we also <gasps> also got through a, a good chunk of. Uh, a good chunk of the bedrock stuff, so I might actually not deal with the bedrock as much as I should, like, as I was working on it, and just dig down directly to the bedrock, fill in whatever's left, and then get rid of, like, a lot of the lava and all that, but I also have to get rid of a lot of this, or actually all of this obsidian, uh, which we can't do without the pick, so we kind of need some stuff, so I guess... This is the end of today's episode, I think. Um, I also could be very wrong because I don't know how long I have uh, been going. So I guess we'll take a quick brief break so I can check. Now, what we'll probably do is we probably have plenty. Uh, is we also reach the mountain, so it's a lot easier to swim up. 
uh, is what we're gonna do now is start heading off in. Uh, so we've head off, headed off into each of these directions. Now we gotta go in the other directions as well, uh, which means that the first thing we're going to do. Wait, I don't. I don't know. I kind of want to put the mob farm down at the uh down in the like the bottom sub junk. But at the same time I really don't want to make a so I probably could make it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I th I'm thinking that that's actually a really good idea. A sub chunk gay water elevator. For the mobs so that we can transport them upward and then once we transfer them upward or transport them sorry upward we will uh, we'll send them into a killing chamber and eventually pro uh, probably not because it's probably a lot harder to do uh, but the direction we gotta go okay yep no uh-uh not having it. <laughs> Not today. I've died too many times. Yeah, this uh, this endeavor. I I didn't learn from my mistake, uh, in the previous episode of not of not lighting up a dark room. Did not learn it one bit and uh, died with a lot of stuff. So, uh, we are going to get ready to. First, we're gonna sleep, and then we're gonna get ready to uh. So I think what we're gonna do, because I'm gonna need F3 and G, uh, which is the chunk board. I'm sure you guys hate it just as much as I using it for you guys, but that's what we have uh, to use. So initially, we're gonna use a a lot of wood. Um, I kind of want to start smelting some more. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie that uh that nether portal is really Nonetheless, we're gonna let that chunk that that stack of uh, smelt down to charcoal while down a bridge. This time, I think this this bottom section. I really want to make it pretty symmetrical. At the same time, I don't want to. Uh, so this is what I'm I'm muddling over in my brain. If you guys would bear with me on this one, uh, you'll understand why I am like I I don't know if I want what I want to do. I don't know if I want to build one down at the at the chunk at in at the lowest sub chunk, which will allow us to have spawning that is uh, really good. And that's these horizontal lines. That is a sub chunk. The vertical lines are the chunks, sub chunks, and so each chunk is. It's it's a vertical grid. It's it's a three dimensional grid. That's what what it is. the yellow lines separate out uh, every two blocks. And by building a farm down at the at the lowest sub chunk, which is what I originally wanted to do before I started building uh, these big bridges to the things, is go down to the lowest sub chunk. Well, there's a lot of lava and a lot of aggravations down here. Uh, I do kind of want to build down first and see it's all to work with that was ominous oh my goodness that was really really cool too um, we ought to find which is here actually. Let's 
Just in my to uh Oh that's one way to do it. So what's cool about this is that I can actually make the most uh what's the word I'm most efficient farm by building it literally all the way down here because now I have a full 16 blocks vertical whereas I would have like eight normally to to build the farm as as however I wanted to now I have a full 16 so I can build uh, a slight drop or however I I, I, I don't know how I want to do it just yet uh, but we also have to remember that the uh, AFK platform, the platform in which we stand, has to be th within 32 blocks of the full farm. So the farm that is down here at the sub chunk needs to be within 32 blocks so that the mob AI still works. Because it does have to work. If it doesn't work, they just stand still. Uh, because within 128, they just stand still. So, I. Uh, that means that we we have to uh, build our AFK or the I'm gonna call it the AFK platform, but it's not actually an AFK platform because we're AFK at it. That's just where the the point in which these mobs are gonna spawn from if we stand. That's only one. Check. We're gonna go out the full three because sake of sake of. Same. So we need to get frozen staircase. Okay. Where are we at now? So we have we've got, we're out like two and a half now. I do want to get this uh stairs going up. So we're gonna make this stair. We're gonna start from the bottom, making the stairs three wide. Uh, just for the fact. No. No. Just for the fact that we want to be. A lot safer because the we have two blocks off the we only have three blocks off the edge of the top of the chunk up up top so that's that's what we want to stick with it's the three chunks or three blocks off cutting in one. we won't cut in one more because we're gonna get this section right here space because of okay which is unfortunate because the only uh, unfortunate not uh, because the only way to get rid of the bedrock is with a dragon egg, and we can't get them uh, on this because there is no. I mean, I guess technically you could to the mainland, but rules of the challenge state that you're supposed to build this. Uh, what is quote unquote. We started the stairs, which is fine. We'll deal with that later. Um, okay, so. We've started the bridge, and we're most definitely over our time today. So, I, unfortunately, this is the end of today's episode. What I'm going to do on the off-camera, off obviously, is is just uh, finishing out the bridge to all the way up to the three-chunk ch section. I'm not going to go any farther than that because, obviously, I want you guys to see the whole process. Hopefully, we can make this uh, 
mob form because it's going to be different than normal the same way we normally do it which is our well the same way the rest of our base is built which is on on the basis of a six but are of a 16 by 16 or one chunk hopefully you guys enjoyed this one if you did please do remember to smash the like button it means a lot to see you guys enjoying these things and uh and telling me that telling me so in the comment section below so if you guys did enjoy please do remember to, to smash the like button if you didn't you know what to do and uh, uh, leave a comment if you didn't enjoy it and just tell me what's going on why why you don't like it uh, what style is it that you would prefer this series to go and until the next time guys I'm risky and I'll see you guys in the next one